Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company and here we have the Alfa Romeo Stelvio on a 71 plate. So I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. The tailgate on this car will open electronically as you can see. As we approach the back of the car, you'll also see the twin tailpipes, reversing sensors. This car's also got a reversing camera, loads of boot space, as you may well expect, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through uh, the controls on the inside, as I mentioned. Now that we've done a full circle of it, though, you can see the alloy wheels are all in fantastic condition, as is the bodywork the whole way around the car. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're looking at the driver's door card just here, uh, where you'll notice you've got three uh, memory settings for the electric seats and a Harman Kardon Hi-Fi system. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, first of all, we have the coolant temperature gauge and the rev counter. We have the speedometer and fuel gauge on the right-hand side. In the center, the total miles for this car, they are 18,491. We have, uh, above that, the main trip computer, uh, and above that, the digital readout for the speedometer. If we back out to the steering wheel next, on the left-hand side, first of all, we have the button that starts and stops the engine. You just need to make sure the key is in the car with you. Uh, we have our cruise control. Uh, this car is able to maintain its own distance between itself and the car in front once the cruise control is set by hitting this button. Uh, and then over on the right-hand side, we have our stereo and phone controls. You'll only be able to choose the phone controls once you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the screen in the center just here. You can see the phone menu. To access it, uh, you can either use the touch screen, as I've just done, uh, or you can use the controls down here. So you can get back to the main menu from there and this dial will navigate your way through the menus. It pushes down so that you can enter whatever menu it is that you're highlighting. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can use this. You've also got the volume for the stereo down there as well. Uh, so pairing your phone, as I say, is easy. Just rotate the dial to the phone heading there. Uh, you can see that we've also got satellite navigation. Nice, clear color display. It's a very easy system to use. And we have, of course, our audio menu as well. So DAB radio, as you can see, uh, you can access a list of the radio stations there as well. Uh, there are various different files for uh, DAB radio stations. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that as well, of course. Uh, this car also has, as I mentioned when we were at the rear of the vehicle, a full color reversing camera. You can see there with guidelines showing you what direction the car is headed in, in relation to the image shown on the screen. Working our way down, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger and driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed from here. The air conditioning is on and that's off again. Uh, or you can hit auto for either driver or passenger uh, and the car will take control of the fan speed and the direction of the air for you to maintain the temperatures that you've asked for. We have a heated driver's seat with three different heat settings and the same for the passenger side. We've also got a heated steering wheel just there as well. 12 volt charging socket and USB input. Uh, we have two cup holders. You can close this over, of course. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, electronic handbrake. And then this is Alfa Romeo's DNA system. So we're in uh, neutral at the moment, natural, everyday driving, essentially. We have uh, dynamic available there. And then at the bottom, all weather. And whichever mode you put it in, uh, it will show up here for you. Last thing I wanted to mention is the panoramic glass roof. We have a sun blind uh, that will open up to the back of those rear seats. You can leave it like this, and as you can see, uh, that will let in a huge amount of extra light to the cabin area. Or, if you wish to, you can also open this front section as a proper sliding sunroof, and as you can see, uh, that opens quite a long way up to give you a large sunroof area. The last thing I want to show you is the paperwork we have for the vehicle. So you can see there the V5 registration document showing this is a two owner car from new. The key you're looking at is the spare key for the vehicle. We have uh, service receipts underneath there from main dealer as well. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.